What's up, y'all? We found a comment on our last video suggesting that we did top trades in NFL history, so we decided to take that advice and make a video on it. Before we get into things, as always, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with the latest and greatest uploads on the channel. Alright, so number 5 on our list might be a bit controversial, but we have Russell Wilson being traded to the Denver Broncos, which happened just last week. It's obviously unknown how this trade is going to play out, but both the namesake and the amount of value traded alone makes it worthy of this list. The Broncos received quarterback Russell Wilson and a 4th round pick, and the Seahawks received two 1st round picks, two 2nd round picks, a 5th rounder, quarterback Drew Locke, defensive lineman Shelby Harris, and tight end Noah Fant. The Broncos got their much needed quarterback, and it helps them be able to compete in the tough AFC West division. On the other hand, it seems like Seattle is going into a full rebuild. Number 4 on our list is from 1999, when Marshall Falk was traded to the St. Louis Rams. This trade is a perfect example of both sides winning. The Rams sent second and fifth round picks to the Indianapolis Colts for Marshall Falk, who was one of the better all-around running backs in the league at the time. Falk ended up taking his game to a whole nother level entirely. He helped create what was known as the greatest show on turf, as the Rams went on to win the Super Bowl over the Tennessee Titans. Falk and the Rams almost won a second title, but Tom Brady and the Patriots spoiled that. On the flip side, the Colts drafted Edgar and James with one of the picks from the trade, who became one of the best tailbacks in franchise history and carried the Colts to the playoffs numerous times. Next on our list is from 1992, when Brett Favre was traded to the Packers. The Atlanta Falcons drafted Brett Favre with a second round pick in the 1991 NFL Draft. After a tough rookie season, the Falcons were looking to move on from Favre, so they shipped him to the Green Bay Packers for a first round pick in the 92 Draft. Favre did not take long to prove that that was a huge mistake. Within a few years, he helped the Packers win Super Bowl 31 over the Patriots and almost won another, losing to number 2 on our list. Speaking of number 2, we have John Elway getting traded to the Denver Broncos. Prior to the 1983 NFL Draft, John Elway's camp made it known that he did not want to play for the Baltimore Colts. The Colts drafted him anyway with the number 1 overall pick. When they did that, Elway literally refused to play and that prompted a trade that sent him to the Broncos for offensive lineman Chris Hinton, quarterback Mark Herman, and a first round pick in the 1984 draft. Elway went on to prove that he was every bit worth the number one pick, appearing in five Super Bowls, winning the last two in 1997 and 1998. Elway is easily considered a top five quarterback in NFL history and has remained a very important part of the franchise in the front office. Meanwhile, the Colts were burned badly by their decision to trade Elway. Following his rookie year, the team ended up leaving Baltimore for Indianapolis and took a very long time to get back to relevancy. Number one on our list is unquestionably the biggest and most lopsided trade in NFL history. In 1989, Herschel Walker had been setting the league on fire with the Dallas Cowboys, and the Minnesota Vikings believed he was the one piece they were missing to win the Super Bowl. So, the Vikings offered the largest haul in history. The Cowboys got back two first round picks, three second round picks, and a third round pick. Dallas would use all of that draft capital to help build one of the greatest dynasties ever. They went on to win Super Bowl 25, Super Bowl 27, and Super Bowl 28. That team, along with the Patriots, are the only dynasties to ever win three Super Bowls in a four year span. Meanwhile, Herschel Walker only spent two seasons with the Vikings and did not rush for a thousand yards in either season. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe as well as follow League Alerts on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for the best NBA coverage out there.